So it's awesome to have Randy Reese here, legendary coach, 45 years in the coaching history in Florida. Is that correct? Uh, right at. Wow. So awesome, awesome experience. Why don't you take us back when you grew up and how you got into swimming and then kind of the evolution of Randy Reese and coaching? Well, I had a cousin that was a swimming coach, uh, Snag Holmes, who lives over and does a lot of master's coaching around the uh, Jupiter area. But he started coaching my brother, who's four and a half years older than myself, and I kind of followed in the footsteps after Eddie. So you, you did, was it an age group program or was it you just jumped in the pool with a couple other swimmers? How'd that start? It was more, he was coaching Eddie and then he decided to coach myself and one of my cousins. And then so you grew up through high school. What high school did you go to? Mainland. Mainland. And then you decided to go to where? Florida State. Florida State. Who was yeah. the coach there? Bim Stoltz. Yeah. Well, I remember Bim Stoltz, but what I remember about your early career was the Randy Reese swim team in Jacksonville. I, I remember that. That's right. Cool. And that was pretty impressive. I remember the 75 Nationals. You guys were dominant. And that was a year before the Olympics. You, Hogshead. You, yeah. But we, well, Julie Teeters won the High Point Award ahead of Shirley Babishoff. Wow. And then uh, Dave McCagg. You had, a, you had a whole host of great swimmers back then. Billy Forrester. Oh, yeah, Billy. Unbelievable. Yeah, very hard worker. So from there, where did you go next? Well, I left Episcopal and went to uh, Florida. That was 76 to 90. So we have some cool Florida stuff, Fl Florida stories later for you on the show. So I bet you're <laughs> excited about those. Yeah, I'm sure I And I'm sure be. there was an unfortunate time, too. You had to coach a certain person at this table. Well, it was try to coach. <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably true. I was a big jerk back then. <laughs> All right, so, so tell me about, a little bit about your philosophy and training. I mean, what, what's in the Randy Reese mentality that gets these kids going so fast? Well, I think the bottom line is great strokes and hard work and naturally coming to all the workouts. So, so when you're talking about great strokes, is that, do you start them in the age group with a good stroke technician or is it you one-on-one -on -one just developing in high school? Well, usually I think stroke technique comes with a lot of stroke drills. You can still work hard, but do the right stroke. And a lot of our drills are one arm so you can break it down and, and I think learn it faster like that. So when you're talking about your practices, do you, is it a, is it a percentage? I go, okay, I take 5% or 10% of my workouts or drills, 50% or aerobic, or is it, how's that break down? Yeah, we, we usually have about three parts of the uh, year and we start off with a lot more kicking and drills and then we start letting up a little bit on the drills and three days a week on kicking. We do three days really big yardage and kick and then three days moderate. So you've had a host of very, very fast swimmers. And I know Sid knows a lot of them. Um, what are some of your, the, the ones that, that come to mind that just really go, wow, those guys were, they were tough, bad to the bone guys or girls? Well, I've, you know, I've had a lot of them over a the lot, years. A lot. So, but, you know, when I go back to Episcopal, you ended up with some great swimmers. Billy Forrester, uh, his senior year, won a bronze medal in the 76 games. Uh, David McCagg. Uh, How about it, Florida, Randy? I remember when I, I know Jason Gorey because I got the pleasure of working with him at Tampa, and he came up and was swimming with Matt Sitlinski, and you guys just rocked at that time. What were those practices like? Who, who was it, the Gator practice leading the lanes? Well, Matt led a lot of the distance lanes, but, you know, Jason jumped in there and challenged him, and, uh, you know, it w wasn't Matt winning every day, that was for sure. They'd beat themselves up, and then another guy would take over. Uh, Helen Camp was there, working hard. So we, we had some real good distance people. Back then, it was a little easier to get people to dedicate themselves because there wasn't as much uh, opportunity to go to your mm -hmm. iPhone and things like that. So, so, Randy, I'm curious. Over the 45 years you've been coaching, how much has the swimmer changed for the good or for the not so good 
Well, I think it's changed for the not so good to find the more dedicated kids that you used to be able to find mm-hmm. is really uh, gone away. So, but you've had success over the last decade or so. I mean, remember the age group team you put together in Texas, and then I, I guess it's even changed culturally since then. So you've been here at Clearwater. We've seen a lot of tough swimmers come yeah. out of your oh, program. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they're still there. It's more motivation, and you don't get quite as many to train to the level you'd like, or I would like. Not like a Bob Utley. Uh, Bob Utley was a great swimmer. Yeah, he was bad to the bone. We need a few more of those. These we do days. need. We do need a few more of those. So there's a different look in a in a re swimmer. To be honest with you, it's the legs and the core sitting up a little bit a high, a little bit higher. What do you attribute that to? Is it the is it the buckets? Is it the what what is it? I think I think buckets strengthen you. I think the amount of kicking we do is very important, and swimming at a little bit faster rate. If you're not swimming fast enough, then you know, you either need to change the interval or back them off a little for a day or two so that you can go back to performing with the right race technique you're going to use. Yeah, you know, it, what I do see with that is the is the leg production. That's the biggest part I see is the leg production. And I, and I think knowing what buckets do, it's <laughs> you can't stop your legs ever. So well, that's, that's one reason we use them so yeah. much. It forces the legs in even when you're tired. Yeah. Very good. Very good.